morning you or afternoon now hi folks <laughs> i did this one for for youtube yesterday but for some reason it didn't record i, I must have thought it was recording and it wasn't but anyway it was done with three colors and i'm going to do something like it uh paints gray light red and raw sienna the raw sienna is not is uh, jackson's own so it's an artist's quality Getting a bit low of the common, I have to order some. Right, let's take that off. So I mixed the well, I mixed the light red and the paints grey for the cloud, and we had a lot of clouds going overnight that yesterday. It was pretty rainy, very windy, and a bit of sun day. And I, I made it up as I go along, as always. And I put these dunes or these sandy dunes uh, went a bit wrong there mainly because the paper was uh, cloggled there and the dry brush sort of missed it out so I had a little bit of a problem with that so piece of Winsor Newton uh, 90 pound rough this was, was from uh, Ken Bromley but alas there is no more we uh, as soon as we knew what it, it was available, it was very cheap. We bought loads of it, I don't know, in uh, Smoothie 77 myself. And anybody else that we, we recommended it to, but we cut our own throats, didn't we? Uh, right, I'm kind of wet it. It's very porous. This is 15 inches by 11. Yeah, very porous, so I will use my hairdryer, but I'll, I'll use the mute on my laptop because that does mute it somewhat, but it doesn't mute it entirely. But it takes the uh, the harsh sting out of it, so it doesn't blast your ear, ears off. The problem is, of course, I forget to take them off, or take the mute off. So I've got unmute written up there, but I forget to see it. It's an age thing. Okay, so... A bit of raw sienna. Uh, it should be quite. I'll be quite honest. The Cotman colours are so good. It's not as brilliant as the uh, as the wind the Windsor Newton Cotman range, but it's quite good. A little bit of red in there. All right, I think we'll have a little bit of, bit of paint grey. No, no uh, sunlight in this because I haven't got a blue there. But we'll put in a bit of a bit of paint and a bit of a bit of light red to warm it up. Had loads of that yesterday. Just a bit of light shining through. So that's my sky and my sea, all done in one go. This is a how to really, how to paint with three colours. It's good exercise. Anything, one colour, two colours, good practice in. See how far you can go, what mixes you can get with a basic palette. Also good if you go out sketching with watercolour, you don't need to take seven or eight colours with you. You can just take two or three and then build them up when you come, come home. Well, I'll just uh, clean the brush and let's take that bottom off of that. Now this is where I'm going to dry it now. So take your headphones off. I'll mute my sound.
unmoved. Right, now that is uh, pretty flat there. Uh, th at this stage, it's just fairly troubled here. What have I done there? I'll pick up a bit of colour there. Um, you can go over it with another wash if you wish. But I would suggest that if you do, you spray rather than scrape, wet the paper with a brush. That's going to be a pigeon up there or something. Right, let's put in some, some distant hills. I'm doing them similar to what I did yesterday. So a bit of light red. And a bit of, bit of paint. So let's just... Okay, let's uh, put a bit of brighter stuff in there, bit of bit of red and bit of bit of yellow, bit of that paints, like a bit of a green. First time with some yellow now, or the sienna. And then we'll put in some darker trees, horizon, a little blend. You can draw this, the horizon. Frank Clark, oh good old Frank, I should look at his if you see if you've got any new ones. I do like Frank Clark. I recommend him if you're a really basic painter. He doesn't do masterpieces, but he's a very, very good instructor. All right, okay, now we've got some good, good old fashioned thick paint there. So a mix of three colours. You see how, how intense that red is, right? So, there's a bit of that. A warm, autumn colour. Might be better using a smaller hake for that because you never quite know where the back of that brush is going. Don't be fine about you losing using thick paint. So if you're painting over wet paint and you use uh, quite a sloppy mix on your brush, it'll just disappear into nothing. So here we're just putting in some landscape, make another plane, then we'll come down with a yellow. And then we're going with a hard I did one yesterday on Patreon with uh, two colours, uh, in, I think it was two colours, indigo and light red. Uh, yeah, indigo and light red. I'll show you it. Oh, it's probably on there. But one, the one that didn't record was also the, uh, the trailer for it. So, what a very good day yesterday. But we all haven't, don't we? Oops, I think we're going uphill slightly there. So let's get that really nicely mixed. Get a nice flat brush. I very rarely, rarely work outdoors. I do sometimes take a box with me on holiday. But, uh, I found that uh, you do get interrupted. By dogs running around your water pot, etc. Now, I'm making this up as I'm going along. Everyone's different, but they're all based 
on a number of scenes in my mental repertoire. All right, should we get some of the sense beyond Sienna in there as well? Show coming over the cliffs or over the hills. Just a little bit there. Probably wouldn't see the back ones like these hills there. They're probably, probably too far back to refract. Okay, I'm going to let that go now. Uh, we'll just let that dry in. Let's just touch a little bit there. Don't know if I've improved that or what. Okay, the foreground now. I might even use a bit of grass in this. Just to see what they were like. Oh, my, my cloth got a nice new bit of toweling here. Put that in in my box easel so I can wipe my, wipe my brush on it. Right, okay, now I'm going to try that. So let's mute. Right, now we need a bit of landscape in the, in the foreground now. Uh, I'm going to use Frank Clark's large hake. It's not as large as the Ron Ransom one, but it's nice. It, it comes to a, a rounded edge and there are one or two rogue hairs in it. So what I do, very carefully, because there's one that might drag, is just nip it, nip it off. Okay, so so we want a bit of, bit of raw sienna and a bit of, bit of red, nice and mixed. And because the paper is fairly dry, you need quite a bit of water. So let's just put some in here. One I want to take up further. See how dark you can get and and all the different bits of colour, just using that red with the sienna. Bit of, bit of dark in there. The shadow. You see how lovely this paper is. Just a little bit. Oh, that's true, it's a bit wet. So it's a bit more the other side. And a little bit of bit of grassy stuff in here. Now dark. This all the three colours. And bring the changes for that. dark in there. The shadow. I'm going to scrape that in a minute. Put some uh, bits of grasses. Right. Card. The worst wet you can take it up into the 
into the blue yonder. Uh, just a just a few, like a thousand. But get them going the same way, providing winds coming from there. Uh, okay, now we're on a little bit of detail now. Just to add another little bit of dimension to it. I'll give my old mate Joe Menza a plug. He was on my Patreon channel for about a year and he, he's now going on his own. He's making videos on YouTube, all free to, to view. He's made about 20. He follows mostly Von Ransom, and you'll see that when you see the, his paintings. But he's a very nice demonstrator. Uh, Joe Menza, M E N Z A. Give him a plug. Because he's, he's uh, self taught, but he's, he's doing okay. To help my friends. Give him a leg up. All right. Love it all. I hate this one. Let's have a just a like a what remains of a pier or landing stage or something. But nothing really. Just, just a bit of stuff. It's easy with the uh, with the large hike really. Lost and found. Don't put everything in. It's what you leave out that makes a painting. Now I'm not here talking about the great masters, I'm talking about Dave Usher. It's best what you leave out. Okay, we'll put a figure in there. Clean that. Uh, find a find a brush. Okay. Uh, Well, I think a boat might be more appropriate. Let's have a grey boat. Uh, look in the middle. Oh, this I find it very hard to hold a brush these days. It cramps up my hands and I've got my thighs for some rest now. I do. I'll put a figure down in. Needs to be a bit of slightly bigger body than that. Yeah, nice little figure. Uh, all right, okay, a bit, bit of a uh, bit of gouache, I think. Put a little bit out on the tray. Just put a few little bits of boat. Now, I'm not boat person, so don't criticise me sails. 
Go back to sweeping that there. Yeah, that's all right. Have one here. It's a little bit, a bit heavy, though, isn't it? All right, we'll lift it out some of that, I think. Uh, my half inch brush, a bit of tissue paper. Let's put a little bit of, just blot out a bit of a boat shed or something, or a couple of buildings. Papers wet, I put my fingers in it. Now, gotta be careful with it. Yeah, what are they doing there? Bit of, bit of sienna. So, uh, finished. I'll put a mount on it. Uh, yeah, that's the exposure. It's going from light to dark in the sky. I'll put a mount on so you see what happens. Okay, well there we are. Uh, one painting based on yesterday's effort. Uh, hope you enjoyed that, folks. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.